the little engines were busy doing nothing. Peter Sam and Rusty often clear their railroad of leaves and broken leaves. Peter Sam felt much better after his long, long, let's break away. One snapped. One snapped. One. Faster, faster, shout. A sign read, faster, faster, but the silly cars never saw it. Then, it was too late. You are dead. Not a big surprise. Peter Sam arrived at the scene of the disaster. His driver sighed. This was our fault. How can it be? Sir Topham Hat will be very stupid. And he was. You will work in the Ushnikals until I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter Sam's dilemma. Fancy not securing your drivers on a hill. They'll come back to spook you and your special, special. <laughs> and who's to say you're not afraid of ghosts? Snapped Rusty. Ghosts. Things that go bump in the night. Rubbish! Well, I'll tell you a story that will make your funnel quiver, Rusty said. They say that on Halloween, the ghost engine returns to the smelters looking for his lost whistle. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home. But he always crashed into the new station. So what do you think of that, Duncan? Rubbish, replied Duncan. Never mind him, Peter Sam. He'd be frightened if he really crashed into the new station. This gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play Smash. The next day, he spoke to Duncan's driver and fireman, who agreed. We'll do it tonight. Duncan had to take coal cars to the slate mines. But all the same, he kept thinking about Rusty's story. There's no such thing as ghosts. When dusk fell, he was keen to leave. If we don't go now, Scarlowy will crash into the new station. We have to collect our cars first, his driver replied. When night fell, they set off. The mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Duncan whistled, and the sound echoed everywhere. Then, ahead, he saw Smudger. <laughs> Next, his driver secretly threw a new station into the ravine below. It's the old joke. Take me back! Take me back, please! When Duncan reached the safety of his shed, he closed his eyes tightly. Spooked, are you, Duncan? laughed his driver. <laughs> no! I'm asleep, and Duncan refused to open his eyes. He did, though, when he thought his driver wasn't looking, just to make sure that he was still there. <laughs>